This is a weather update. Uh, there are a couple of uh, weather systems, low pressure areas that are headed towards the Philippines this week and next week. And uh, can they turn into typhoons? Let's talk about it. May 1st in the Philippines, and uh, it's not unusual to get a typhoon during, uh, during the season. May is usually the hottest month. We've got a lot of hot weather out here in the uh, hot, hot water warm water warmer water out here in the philippine sea anyway i'm at a site called windy.com great great site for uh weather and uh systems all over the world and you can go over here to uh go over here to the to the right and you can you can punch in just all sorts of things uh, weather radar satellite wind rain thunder temperature clouds which i have uh, ticked right there waves air quality and many more layers as well um, you can go down here and there, there are a num number of options reported wind uh, reported temperatures particulates webcams around the world paragliding spots wow anyway this is the philippines right here and it is May 1st. It is Monday, May 1st. It's a holiday here. So if you plan to go to the bank or immigration, forget it. They're closed. It's a holiday. Labor Day. Anyway, we're over here. And I'm going to take this uh, down here in the lower left-hand corner. I'm going to move this Monday up to uh, where we are presently. 8 a.m. exactly, my computer says. As does this app. Uh, anyway, we've got this... Uh, it, it's sunny with some some scattered clouds as I look out my window right now in Cebu. I'm up here in uh, Cebu City right here, 26 degrees centigrade. And you've got this low pressure area that uh, is projected. I'm going to give you a link also in the description, a link to um, Westpac Weather. Uh, Robert over there does a great job. English language does a great job of forecasting. Uh, weather in the Philippines and in Japan and the whole uh, Western Pacific. And and he did the thing. He doesn't think this is going to turn into a a typhoon, but there's one back here we're going to look at that, that could be a little bit stronger coming up in uh, a little over a week. Um, so you've got Davao, you've got Mindanao down here, you've got the Visayas right through here, Palawan over here, and you've got Luzon Island up here. So many historically, so many of these, uh, so many of these uh, weather systems, low pressure systems that can turn into typhoons. You call them hurricanes back in the, in the west. Uh, a lot of them they'll they'll swerve to the north, but looks like this one's going to come pretty much straight across uh, the Visayas, uh, Samar, Leyte. Uh, a little bit of uh, Mindanao down here and, and through Cebu and onward from there. Dump a lot of water at the very least starting, uh, according to his re Robert's reporting, starting tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. As this, And we're going to move this. We're going to go down here and we're going to move this Monday and just take it forward and see how fast, see if my computer can keep up. Uh, we're into Tuesday now. Wednesday, and you can see that uh, that system, those clouds spinning around. Thursday, Friday, and what we're going to be watching on, uh, like up to 10th, 11th, 12th, is, is this system out here, another low pressure system that may even have more potential to turn into a larger storm and take this out and you can just run it through these are projections of course and things can change over time uh, Monday the 8th 9th you can see it getting closer to the Philippines Wednesday and my timeline only takes me out to out to Wednesday the 10th but anyway this this large low pressure system here um, there are a number of projections that that take it further north up towards Luzon and like I said uh, these things are a little bit unpredictable especially the longer you go out 
uh, but it could, uh, like so many, it, it could veer north, it could go just straight across and hit the whole uh, Metro Manila area as well, could hit up here, or it could continue straight across here, it depends upon the other forces uh, from the north, high pressure systems from the north, uh, that type of thing. The Philippines has four climate type systems, uh, according to PAGASA, the government agency in, uh, in charge of uh, keeping track of all this type of thing. You've got the uh, four systems as outlined in this map that they put out, and then basically they've got two basic, two basic seasons. Uh, the rainy season, rainy hot from June to November, and we're May, June is a month away, and uh, the dry season, December to May. Now, what I can tell you, I've been in the Philippines three trips and I stayed here about seven years, uh, is that even all over the world, uh, weather is not normal. Weather is not normal. And uh, we've had, in 2015, 2019, we've had droughts during the, the wet season. We've had droughts. So it wasn't the rainy season. And uh, even these past, uh, not counting, not counting April, we've had November, December, January, February. I believe, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, which are considered dry, were extremely wet this year. Uh, the wettest I've ever seen, almost every day, a cloud cloud cover, day or night, and uh, with some pretty good rains almost every day, maybe even more than once a day. So it really is a little bit misleading, a little bit misleading. You know, it's, it, it has its function, and it's interesting to try to lay out all this information, but uh, the weather and the climate does not conform to man's, uh, to man's maps. And there are many, many factors. I think there's uh, 20 or maybe a little more typhoons, hurricanes that come into the Philippine area of responsibility, big rectangular box that goes around the Philippines uh, each year. And some of those hit land, make landfall, some do not. Some just stay out in the ocean, but they affect uh, they affect the weather uh, with rain and various types of things. May is generally the hottest month of the year here in the Philippines. The only way you and 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 the temperature stays pretty uh, pretty consistent across the full length uh, up and down the Philippines. The only way you get cooler temps, basically in most places, is to go up in elevation, go up into the mountains. There have been, uh, I think, several times over the years, at least two or more times, uh, where I've been watching various weather reports, and uh, they say, yeah, this this low pressure system coming into uh, the the Philippine Sea uh, doesn't look like it's going to turn. You know, it's going to bring some rain in. Doesn't look like it's going to turn into a tropical storm or a typhoon, but it hits that it hits that uh, warm water in the Philippine Sea, and it can. Uh, it can increase in strength very, very rapidly. And I've heard weather forecasters say, no, I don't think it's going to turn into anything. And 24, 36 hours later, it's it's a typhoon. Another another uh, half a day or day later, it's a super typhoon. So very unpredictable here in the Philippines. But Robert does, uh, at West, Westpac Weather, does a great job of, of forecasting. So I'll put a link in the description. But first, let's talk about a couple other things. So one thing to point out is that, uh, you know, you should have a, you should be prepared for big storms, for flooding. Uh, you don't have to have a typhoon to have major flooding. And uh, some of you that live here or plan to move here, will end up settling in a place that is prone to flooding with heavy rains and or landslides. Uh, landslides, if you live close to a, uh, a bank, an embankment, a mountain, a hill that can slide down with excessive rain. Electricities and brownouts. We had our electricity go off just momentarily last night, first time in a long time went off, came back on. Our elevators didn't work for about 10 minutes, so it took them a while to get those, uh, throw the switch, whatever they have to do to get the elevators running again. 
but yeah, this is a this is a free site, uh, windy.com. They've got apps for for uh, Android as well as Apple phones as well. What happens if we hit satellite here? All right. Well, that's kind of interesting. Satellite and uh, weather radar. Maybe I have to click on the. I see. I click on it. It brings it on in. Well, look at that. Looks like we're getting some rain even presently. You can see the rain out here, and up, up in here, south south of Cebu City, Cebu City, and uh, just double click, and it zooms in even closer. All right. Got Bahol over here. They're getting a little bit of rain in different areas. South of Cebu City here. Kind of interesting. Uh, this is kind of my default. It shows the wind. And you can see the the default uh, that it's uh, we're getting wind from the north northeast or easterlies uh, for for many months. And now in, in June most of that wind is going to come from the southwest, the southwest monsoons, what they call. And uh, well, that's part of why our weather systems change in June. I'll we'll know the temperatures. And these are all in Celsius. I think you can go into settings and set uh, Fahrenheit if you want. I generally just keep it on, uh, on cent centigrade. More layers. Wow. Satellite, wind, wind gusts, wind accumulation, rain, thunder, rain accumulation, new snow, snow depth, precipitation type, thunderstorms, dew point, humidity, freezing altitude, wet bulb temp, solar power, UV index, clouds, high clouds, medium clouds, low clouds, fog, cloud tops, if you're a pilot. Uh, Cloud-based thermals, uh, waves swell. If you're a sailor, wind waves, sea temperature, currents. If you're a sailor, you want to know about the currents. If you're uh, tidal currents, NO2, ozone, ozone layer, SO2, sulfur dioxide, I believe, surface ozone, fire in intensity, Pressure, extreme forecast, weather warnings, outdoor map, moisture anomalies, drought. This is the guy right here. I suggest you uh, you subscribe to his channel, West Pack W X, West P A C W X. So West Pacific Weather is that what that's what that stands for, and he does some really great almost daily, not almost not every day, but he does some really good weather updates for this part of the world out here in the Philippines and West Pacific Sea. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time going into May, June and the rest of the year.